Hi everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. It's a good while since we did an update on the old Wilkinson's building, which as you can see is very, very far removed from Wilkinson's now because it's cracking on a pace. So before we get to that, before we get to that, make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that you've hit that little bell for notifications and don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. The link for it is in the description underneath the video. Just while we're looking that way, obviously we're at Talbot Gateway now and the, the railway station that's on the left. You can see Warbrett Water Tower there, look in the distance. The view, when you come into the car park at Sainsbury's, you kind of come out on these upper levels here and the view from up here, looking across all Blackpool is quite amazing. It's worth it's worth going up there just for a look at the view. So that's Blackpool North. And as you can see, the back side of the new Holiday Inn is, well, pretty much finished, but awaiting cladding, I think. Or is that finished? Is that finished finished? I think that's finished, you know. I think they've done it differently, haven't they? Because this is this is a sort of a brick a brick tiley pattern. So I think, looking at that, looking at the flushness of it to the window frames, and looking at the fact that there's a piece missing in the middle layer, I think that is actually finished. I'm sorry, Holiday Inn, I take that back. Your backside is finished. The crane's still on site, busy, lifting stuff up and down. So last time I came into Blackpool, wasn't any cladding at all on this side of the building and I have to say it's looking very nice. I've not been round the front side of it yet. Um, and we are of course at Bickerstaff Square as you can see by the granite nameplate here. John Bickerstaff being one of the founding fathers of Blackpool. So they're busy putting the cladding on. Is it in, is it in sheets? It must be in sheets, they can't be individual. They can't be individual squares. It's very clever, isn't it? So the insulation's all at the back of it. And then the cladding goes over the top. And you can just see when the bus moves. <coughs> Excuse me. You can just see in the gap. Oh, no, you can't because the bus is going down there. You can just see in the gap, the sea in the distance look. And of course, that's Talbot Road. So you'll be able to catch your tram when you get off the train little short walk underneath the underpass from the railway station from Blackpool North underneath underneath here and the, the, the tram terminus is at the other side of this building and we're going to go around there and we're going to go and have a look it's a busy spot it's a busy spot and it's really convenient as well because this is Talbot Talbot Road car park, well, Cookson Street car park, if you want to call it that. This is the council offices, and there's, there's Blackpool and the Fowl College and Lancaster University in it. There's a new Department of Work and Pensions office block going here. And it's just been announced that there's going to be a new Blackpool and the Fowl College multiversity building going here. So it's a, it's a good central spot for you to be able to access public buildings without needing to have a performance. Trying to, trying to catch transport. Because there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than trying to go somewhere and you can't get any connections in. And apparently these hotel rooms were modular. So they kind of brought a, a bathroom. You probably heard me tell you this before. They kind of brought a bathroom and slotted a full bathroom into a into a space. Busy spot, isn't it? Right, let's see what's happening around the front. Hey, it seems an eternity since this was Wilkinson's and we watched all those, all those months of demolition. 
the, the big diggers knocking everything down. Quite an interesting, quite an interesting job, wasn't it? Right, let's cross. Right, let's have a look at the oh, let's have a look at the front. Last time I came round the front, they've got they just started doing the cladding on this side, on this side, and they look like they've got that just about finished now. There's a couple of holes in it, some windows finished. It is it's it's two tone cladding, isn't it? So you've got this sort of brick effect. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the fence out of the way. You've got this sort of brick effect on the right hand side and then on the left at the side of the crane it's cream. Presumably it's the kind of surface that the rain and the muck will run off. And have you noticed as well that underneath, let me see if I can point, under here there's a sort of a pointed section and I'm kind of assuming that that's the entrance to the hotel. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, well, we'll all will be revealed with the passage of time and apparently it's going to be it's going to be finished sort of 2023 there's still some work to do yet because all the underpass and everything's got to be finished and all of this landscaping and there'll be a lot of fitting to do inside the hotel as well so you can actually see the the tram stop as well let me just zoom in and I'll show you you see the tram stop in the middle you can just see the I think it says North Station on the sign just where that guy's walking across now that's the tram tram stop so it'll be interesting that when it's all finished I'm really looking forward to going and having a look at it looking round Seems like it's been it's been like this forever. So I hope you've enjoyed that little look around, that little update. Just to just to bring us up to speed. Just to bring us up to speed. Don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications. Make sure that you I've said subscribe, haven't I? You've signed up for your email newsletter. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.